Hello guys, I'm in uh, Mong Kok now. I haven't got a mask on, isn't that amazing? No more like $800 fine, but uh, you probably see a lot of people still wearing masks, uh, which is, um, yeah, personal preference, I guess. But uh, for me, my experience, you wear a mask or not wear a mask, you still get infected. So, you know, who gives a damn? I've been wearing this stupid mask for such a long time. So anyways, I'm in uh, Mong Kok now. Uh, hanging out on Sunday night uh, usually I go out to eat on Sunday night uh, and it's pretty good to tomorrow's Monday work day uh, yeah so here is Mong Kok just wanted to show you around and uh, I have a message you know because since the border is uh, open I would like to uh, thank my patreons because they've been up to like four or five years supporting my channel and I really do appreciate it so uh, I'm in the process of ordering some t-shirts like with Chinese characters or something like that. Uh, and I'm gonna send it to my Patreon. So all my Patreons, if you see this message, um, I hope I have your address so I can just ship it directly from Shenzhen to you guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make more videos um, when I'm in Shenzhen, which is gonna be more interesting, I guess in Hong Kong, right? Um, yeah, so you will wonder, oh, why Hong Kong suddenly uh, uh, canceled the mandate on masks because um, China uh, decided to drop all the mask uh, mandates. So the Hong Kong government just says, okay, the next day they decided to, oh, well, we're going to drop the ma uh, mask mandates. I feel that the government um, doesn't really want to make any decisions for themselves or for the Hong Kong people. So whatever the fate of the Hong Kong people is always uh, up to Big Brother, right? So now it's just uh, everything's up to Big Brother. Uh, this is this is the norm nowadays with the government, and uh, what can we do about it, right? Yeah. So here at the back here is uh, where you get all your cell phone. These are the service providers at the back. You can see these are all the cell cell phone uh, providers in Mong Kok. And this place is pretty good and um, Hong Kong actually when you guys come come to Hong Kong now no more quarantine you can eat a lot of food you know all different types of uh, Asian snacks foods restaurants drinks look at this char place which is good yeah all these um, places have really good food bubble tea and all that and the prices are very very reasonable uh, yeah and I uh, also heard like not even heard that when I experienced when you buy anything like in the States or in the Canada, they, you use your credit card and they always expect you to, you know, give you 15, 18 or 20% tip just to get grab a cup of coffee and even to, to go take out and all that, and which is pretty crazy. But in Hong Kong, usually when you go to the Cha Chan Tang, you know, the British style coffee shop, there's no gratuity, no tips, no service charge, no nothing. So you just pay the exact amount and you just walk out. And even more fancier restaurants is still not obliged to pay anything. The credit card mach machine doesn't have that stupid, you know, squares where you push how many tips, you know. And they do, like in North America, they do give you pressure on, you know, they put the machine in front of you and they expect you to give a big tip or some, some form of tip. Uh, my daughter works uh, at a portlery, what do you call that, one of the art stores where you paint your own portlery and uh, bake and all that but the thing is she hosts a party for like 15 20 people and you know they have a mainland Chinese mother and like uh, 20 kids in there and you and, and my daughter like gave them the machine and they had this tip thing and um, they thought it was like China so they gave her zero tip and that's pretty unfortunate <laughs> because she did really work for about two and a half hours taking care of the kids you know helping them paint and select everything so yeah that was one of her bad experience you know that's life I guess so again this a quick video you know hang out in Mong Kok on a Sunday evening wishing you guys all well and uh, yeah um, hopefully Hong Kong will be normalized if possible I mean at least the tourists can come to Hong Kong and they, they said, you know, oh, the borders are open in, in uh, Hong Kong and mainland. The mainland shoppers are gonna come to Hong Kong and snap up everything. Uh, that's not the case, okay? 
that is not the case and all the properties in Hong Kong has dropped at least 30% you know luckily I sold my property last Easter that's where I got rid of my uh, property so now you know I'm just using the money resources to do fixed deposits so that's about four to five percent interest you know for a few months which is a good deal and uh, in Hong Kong there's Hong Kong residents there's no capital gain tax on uh, interest uh, which is a pretty much a bonus yeah so pretty much uh, that's what's been happening yeah, excuse you know me for not making videos but sometimes it's pretty you know all this COVID and lockdown quarantine and it's really made me depressed so hopefully nowadays uh, things will be normal again uh, for me you know and later on I hope I can go to North America again and do some videos there you know and walk around in mainland China and show you around so again uh, thank you very much my patreon you know supporting me even though I didn't make too many videos you know I really love you guys and my subscribers still hung on to me uh, I know I don't get much views, but you know, I'm, I'm still trying. I'm still alive, still doing these videos. So take care, you guys, and I hope to see you good. Happy Sunday evening. Bye bye.